Good morning. The sun just came up uh, just a little while ago here in uh, at Fort Stevens in uh, north northwest Washington, Oregon. And this is Lake uh, Coffinbury, I guess is what they call it. But uh, uh, early in the morning with the mist. It's about 52 degrees here in the middle of August. With the Sitka pines and uh, some Douglas firs. We are at Cannon Beach or Ecola State Park, which lets us access a very good view to Cannon Beach and the haystack as well as other beautiful forms coming out of the ocean. And I'm thrilled to death that my husband wants to do this. Oh my goodness, and I think I see Tillamook Lighthouse. So that is the Tillamook Light Rock. They didn't call it a lighthouse, but it is a, looks like a lighthouse to me, but about one and a quarter miles offshore. You can hear the roar of the uh, Pacific Ocean here. And this whole hillside is filled with uh, berries. And there's a bear. And this is Cannon Beach with uh, a haystack rock out in the distance there. That's what Lucy had really wanted to see here. So it's a good thing we got out here today. Boy Craft Brew House. Do they like waiting for people? Yeah. No, they're waiting for the beach ball so they can balance it on their nose. No, that's a seal. You got a portobello? Wow, that's a nice veggie platter. This is the soup and salad. We're at the Boy Brewing Company in Astoria, Oregon. We're at the Astoria Column, which was built uh, like 85 years ago. And it sits at the high point in Astoria. Pretty fantastic view from up here where you can see the See out there where the uh, Columbia River goes into the uh, Pacific Ocean, right there.
There's a mural on the outside. They say if you follow it around as it spirals up, it's over 500 feet in length and uh, depicts the uh, early history of the area. Two. Because they say Astoria is the first U.S. city founded west of the Mississippi River. It's also a site of the first community antenna television installation in the United States in February 1949. Sorry. No, no, no. You find the Astoria town. Well, it's too bad I didn't think of it before I came up here because I won't do the steps again. <laughs> it's a long way up, isn't it? No, 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 honey. That's all. You can get your own. Oh, no, that's a bird for sure. Well, we're at the Evergreen Air and Space Museum in McMinnville, Oregon, and we parked in the back here with a couple other RVs. They said we could spend the night here. Actually, the museum looks pretty cool, so I'll give you kind of a tour of that too. We're in a uh, Titan II missile bunker here. This is where they would launch Titan missiles, ICBMs. I don't know. I'm going to press the button, so hold your ears. Panels are lighting up. Check 439. Check 439. 440 is 440 is work. 4 IM 440, record 377 decimal 43 PSIA. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Plus, 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 plus.
gonna ride your own biplane here. Not really sure what this is here at the Evergreen Air Park, but uh, I don't know, some kids thought it was a great place to uh, do some uh, skateboarding here earlier. So, don't want the government paid to have, have these, uh, this put together, but uh, I think that might be the, actually I think it might be solid booster parts for the space shuttle, but I may be wrong on that one. That's my guess. Anyway, pretty expensive uh, skateboard part. Looks like a shrine to the Boy Scouts of America. I think the park beyond here might be used for some Boy Scouts of America. There must be some kind of partnership with, uh, with them because we saw several exhibits for the Boy Scouts of America in the, uh, in the museum. <laughs>